Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms, bringing you all the exciting action of the Jaguar Football Program. It's brought to you by Coca-Cola, Louisiana Lottery, Cox Communications, Baton Rouge Metropolitan Airport, Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Louisiana, the Communities of Color Network for a tobacco-free Louisiana, McLean Financial Group, and Jerry Lane, Buick, and GMC. Football show with Coach Dawson Odoms. We come to you each week from 8342 Perkins Road, Le Bon Ton, LBT Bar and Grill. Come out, hang out with Coach and I after the shoot, talk a little SU football. Coach Odoms, congratulations on a big, big win Saturday night. The Jaguars beat the Clark Atlanta Panthers, somebody who has not been on our schedule probably ever. Coach, Good game, a lot of points, a lot of, lot of positivity, but quite frankly, it looked like a controlled scrimmage. Y'all beat them, y'all just destroyed them. Well, you know, I think our guys executed very well, especially from a defensive standpoint. Facing the offense that we don't see every day, they were running the wing tee. Really didn't know how our guys were gonna react, but once we kicked off, they settled in and, and really played an outstanding football game. And offensively, we did an outstanding job of moving the ball. I think we scored in the first half on four out of five, uh, four out of seven possessions. So I was overall happy with the production of the, of the whole team. Coach, it was senior night, and tell us what it means to send these seniors out uh, with the possibility of winning a championship. Well, you know, just like I told them after the game that, first of all, I'm proud of you guys for guaranteeing yourself a winning season through all the adversity that you've been through. You gotta understand these guys, uh, most of them hadn't even had a winning season. Only the guys that were holdovers from the 2009 uh, season had a chance to have a winning season. Everything's still in front of them. They're playing an exciting brand of football and, you know, just having the will to compete and the finish, man. It's all about uh, zero negativity and always staying positive, man. And I think our guys are bonded to that philosophy and you see it on game day. Well, there you have it. Let's jump into first half highlights from Clark Atlanta and watch the Jaguars do their thing on the football field. Coach, to start it off, Mac, good jump on the ball. You get a touchdown on the second play of the game from your defense, 7-0 Jaguars. Well, that's exactly what the doctor ordered, a fast start. Come right back, Tillery rushes for 14, then Dre Joseph sets up and hits his favorite receiver, Lee Doss, for 44 yards and a touchdown. Coach, I know you're gonna hate to see those two guys go. Exactly, man, I think it's a dynamic duo, and you know, I've at least got two more games to watch them. Balancier gets himself a sack, and then Allen and Brown uh, stop the Panthers for a loss. Coach, your defense dominated the Panthers. Well, exactly. I think when you're playing against a team on paper that you're supposed to be, be better than, it usually shows up on the defensive side of the ball. And I was excited about the execution. Tillery catches one for nine, and then that pass right there takes Dre Joseph over the uh, career mark. 8,142 8, yards to pass Brian Lee. Quite an accomplishment for a young man to be the most prolific passer in Southern University Jaguar history, Coach, under your watch. It's, it's exciting for that young man, you know, just a tremendous guy. He had some ups and downs during the season, but he's finally coming into the quarterback. We know he could become down the stretch. Tillery scores from seven out, and Pittman makes the kick good. At this point, Coach, it's still early in the game, and it's already 20-0. You get a good defensive hit by Cook and Miley. Then Morgan's going to catch uh, one and rush for 11 for the Jaguars. Uh, we punt. They get the ball back. And uh, right here you'll see uh, Willie Quinn get a nice little 20-yard return. Coach, I really like this kid. He's exciting. Very exciting, very elusive, just great instincts with the ball in his hands. Tillery is going to rush for 15 on this play, and he's going to come back for 17 yards and a touchdown. Tillery had a good game, Coach, as he went for over 100 yards on the night. It's an exciting football game. Just glad to see him right here. He turned the corner, get in the end zone. Just a tremendous job by, by entire offense. Defense is back on the field. Great hit by Allen and Palmer. And then Kadeem Lewis, another exiting senior, and Carter get a good hit 
on the Panthers as well. Coach, you guys put some hurting on those Panthers. Well, that's Zach, you know, I don't think they got a first down until midway through the third quarter. Tillery for another 18-yard gash. Then Dre sets up, hits Altman for nine on a nice uh, out route. And then Coleman is going to get back in the act, Coach. And he's going to get him an 11-yarder. Your ground game was really going, Coach. Well, we really wanted to work on it because we know going down the stretch, you know, with the games we're going to be facing, we're going to have to be able to run the football. We punted, they punted, and Willie Quinn got him another one. And he took this one back for 21. Jaguars are going to set up on offense, and Coleman's going to get him 11 yards on the ground. Coach, this is the best running game you've had all year? Exactly. We almost had three guys over 100 yards, and you no know, offensive line did a great job of controlling the line of scrimmage. Dre then hits Tillery for nine. And unfortunately, Coach, uh, as great a play as this was on an individual effort by Tillery to, to make something out of nothing, we had a fourth and one in the red zone, and Tillery slips right here, and we failed to convert on a fourth and one at the 10. And that ends the first half. The Jaguars are up. When we come back, we'll look at the second half of the Clark Atlanta football game. Stay with us on the Jaguar football show with Coach Dawson Odoms. Want to get here? It's totally awesome. How about here? Wow! Well, it all starts with the Black and Gold Saints scratch-off from the lottery. Win up to $100,000. Enter our second chance drawings and you could win a 2013 Saints game day prize package, autograph Saints merchandise, or the fan experience of a lifetime. It's just unbelievable. I'll never forget it. Show your true colors with the Black and Gold Saints scratch-off from the lottery. is football, and you're looking at football's biggest fan. I sit close to the TV just so I can join the huddle. I know 38 mascots on a first name basis, and I never miss a touchdown. Ready for football? Cox has over 700 pro and college games this season, and more games than ever before online and on your mobile device. Score 50% off NFL Red Zone when you bundle. I refuse to eat turnovers. Cox is football! When you fly with Baton Rouge Metro Airport, you'll see how we've been working hard to make things easier for you, like the closest parking of any airport in its class, faster check-in, friendly, easygoing people to help you on your way, shorter security lines, quality shops and vending, and a team committed to safe and efficient operations so you can get back to what matters most to you. The next time you travel, keep it simple. Baton Rouge Metropolitan Airport. Fly easy. A new dawn in Southern athletics approaches. One measured by the relentless pursuit of academic excellence and athletic glory. There is just one thing missing from my Jaguar Jamboree. You. A Southern rebirth is firmly taking shape on the bluffs of the Mississippi. But to propel the Jaguar nation to new heights, we need you. Because Southern deserves a, a nation, nation united. united. the Jaguar football show with Coach Dawson Odoms. Coach, you're up 26-0 at the half. What do you talk about with your team to guard against a letdown when you're up that much? Well, just really focusing and going out and finishing the second half. You know, our guys were doing a great job. They, they were excited at halftime. You know, it's one of the first times we've been up like that. So, you know, just really trying to keep them focused on the task and let's go finish the game. Dre Jozo, Coach, we talked about him briefly in the first half highlights the most prolific passer in SU history. What does it mean to coach a kid like that? And what kind of young man is Dre Joseph? Well, I'll give you an example. You know, after the game, they asked him about how he felt about the record. And he said, just having a winning season as a senior is, is better than that record could ever be. And, you know, I take my hat off to a guy like that. He's always put the team before himself. 
Congratulations, Dre Joseph. Let's jump in the second half highlights of the Clark Atlanta game, Coach, and wrap this up and talk about some other things. They kick off to us, and uh, not a great idea because we had a great night on the return game all night. Virgil William hits them up for 90, 20, 29 yards here. Unfortunately, we punt, but we get good coverage by Coleman, and they get no yards on the return, Coach. Boy, that's that was a great special teams effort. Exactly. They're on offense, and that name again, Anthony Balancier. He had a good night for you, Coach. He had his second sack of the night. Well, they really showed up and played well, you know. Uh, that is a nice, good run right there. Colin Favreit takes one for 37, then he comes right back and gets him a touchdown right here. Coach, he had a good night for you as well. Another one of those running backs that went over 100 yards, and, you know, as a freshman, really got a chance to see him gain some confidence throughout that game. Here you have a good stop by Palmer on defense. They punt, and uh, on one of their few scoring opportunities, they fell short, Coach. Uh, they just didn't go, it didn't go Clark's way on Saturday night. Well, I think they ran into a football team that, that was just a little bit more than they could handle. Bethancourt, another freshman, gets an interception and returns at 34 yards. Coach, at this point, the Jaguars are just rolling. Favorite gashes him for 23, then he comes right back and gets his second touchdown in less than a couple of minutes on this three-yarder. And Pittman makes the kick good. At this time, the score is 40 to zero, Jaguars. Defense gets back on the field. Another good defensive play by Monroe. And then we get the ball back and Coleman rushes for 14. He's gonna come back and get a seven yarder to make the score 47 zero. Coach, did you believe you'd score that many points looking at him on film? Well, you know, coming out of halftime, we were up 26 to nothing, and you know, my, you know, I told the offense, let's really work on our running game, and you know, we only threw it one time in the second half. But you know, I knew once we got rolling, we capable of putting up numbers like that. Evans gets a sack on the on the Panthers. Coleman has a nifty 19-yard run, weaving in and out, and then Favorite gets his third touchdown of the night on this 35-yarder. And at this point. It was ball game, coach. 53-0 Jaguars on a dominant performance. Another win in the column to send these seniors out with a winning record. When we come back, we'll talk about the Clark Atlanta play Cox Players of the Week and look ahead to the Bayou Classic and the SWAC Championship game. Stay with us. smoking and tobacco use damages nearly every organ in your body? Don't you think you deserve more than heart disease, lung disease, cancer? Stay away from the toxic chemicals of tobacco and smoking. Tobacco smoke hurts anyone who breathes it, including family and friends. Communities of Color Network supports a tobacco-free Louisiana. To gain financial success, the first step is getting in the game with planning your retirement. With so much uncertainty in the financial world, it's crucial to have someone on your team that understands your financial goals and can navigate you to obtaining your dream to financial freedom. McLean Financial Group advises in many areas. We pride ourselves on strategic financial planning and serving our clients, a great combination to obtain financial freedom. Get in the game and let McLean Financial Group design your customized financial playbook and quarterback you to financial independence. When you shop for health insurance, you'll find Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Louisiana everywhere. No matter where you are, you're covered through and through. We got a blue for Louisiana, we got you covered. Lake Charles, North Brown, Chandelier. From Venice to Vidalia, by World too. No matter where you are, you're covered through and through. Every parish, every zip code. We got a blue. They rolled the red carpet out for me. It's always been You know what? It's tradition. It's family. And that's what keeps us coming back to Jerry Lane. Get the line, get the line. Get the line, get the line. We're a Jerry Lane family.
Welcome back to the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms. It's time for the Cox Players of the Week. Coach, who are this week's Cox Players of the Week? Well, offensively, it'll be a freshman running back by the name of Colin Favorite. Uh, three touchdowns in the exciting football game. Uh, defensively, a young man that's a senior, Antonio Garrett, who played his best game. One of those linebackers that, that had a great game. And special teams did an outstanding job in the return game. Uh, another senior, Virgil Williams. There you have it, the Cox Players of the Week, brought to you by your friends in the digital age, Cox. Coach, after the game, I had a chance to catch up with two of your uh, really accomplished seniors, defensive back Virgil Williams and quarterback Dre Joseph. Let's hear what they have to say. I'm here with senior defensive back Virgil Williams. Virgil's from Shreveport, and tonight was his final game as a Southern University Jaguar. He had 59 kick return yards and 29 punt return yards. Virgil was a shutout, the goal for the defense tonight against Clark Atlanta. Um, well, the goal really was just to come out and uh, execute and uh, play our type of football. And uh, if the shutout was to happen, then we'll gladly accept it. Okay. Virgil, your last game on the bluff. Tell us what it means to be a senior and your last football game at Southern University. Uh, it definitely means a lot. Um, you know, going out with a win, that's every senior's dream. And um, I just told the guys, you know, just go out there and give it their all. And they told me they'll go out there and um, make sure I left A.W. Mumford with a win. Looking ahead, Virgil, you got a big Bayou Classic game coming after the bye week. Give us your forecast for both the Bayou Classic and the SWAC Championship. Well, we know both of those games are going to be uh, pretty competitive. The Gramlin game being a rival, the Jackson State game being a rival, uh, rematch, the championship, and all that. Uh, we're just going to come out next week, um, get back to work, fix um, little mistakes that we made tonight here and there, and uh, try to see if we can you know, improve on our game. All right, no forecast from Virgil. He's being very, very conservative, but I'm sure he expects the Jaguars to come out victorious in both the Bayou Classic and the SWAC Championship. Thank you, Virgil, and congratulations on a great career at Southern University. Thank you. I'm here with senior quarterback Dre Joseph from Edgar, Louisiana. He was 9 of 12 for 105 yards and a touchdown tonight, but the most important number is 8,000. 182 yards. You are looking at the most prolific passer in Southern University history. Dre, did you ever think you'd throw for that many yards when you came to Southern four years ago? I didn't, but ironically, Brian Lee always told me that I was going to be the one to break his record. So it's a great feeling. I like to, you know, thank God first, my family second, and my teammates last, starting with the old linemen and my receivers, those guys, even the running backs who played roles in catching passes, those guys do, did a great job of helping me get to where I am today. Dre, talk to us about what it means to be a senior and your last game on the bluff. It's a great feeling. I mean, you know, it's, it's kind of tough just, just, you know, hanging those cliques up for the last time in A.W. Mumford. But, you know, it's, it's an ending, but it's a beginning. So you, I just try to, you know, keep, keep my head down and not worry about my, not worry about today. I mean, not worry about my future and just, you know, worry about today. Dre, with the career you've had at Southern, did you ever think that you would have a winning season and come out with a chance to actually play for the SWAC championship? I didn't, but like I said, I mean, the senior class, we did a great job of working. We worked 365 starting in the spring, mad drills starting. We did a lot of, you know, summer workouts on our own with the seniors. It's just a great thing, great feeling. All right, forecast, Bayou Classic SWAC Championship. What does Dre Joseph see? I'm just going to try to go out and be victorious. <laughs> there you have it, a very conservative forecast from the senior QB, the most prolific passer in Southern University history, Dre Joseph. Thank you for watching the Jaguar Football Show. Coach, impressive young men, great answers. I tried to get them to, 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 to be a little braggadocious and talk about winning the SWAC championship and the Bayou Classic, but they were very respectful young men to their opponents, and I have to give them their kudos for that. Coach, other seniors we got to talk about, Balancier, Kadeem Lewis, uh, D-Train Lindsey, uh, Doss, guys who all gave you a, a really, really good effort this year and has given Southern University a good effort through their careers. Again, giving respect to seniors, what does it mean to you having been a senior football player in college? Well, you know, I think the number one goal when you're a senior is that you know that 
you want to go out as a winner. And I think these guys accomplished that. They guaranteed themselves a winning season. And the second thing is, you know, you want to be a family because you create some friendships during this last year that will last you a lifetime. And, you know, I've had a chance to be in these guys' life for three seasons and to see the growth from the time I got here to where they are now makes me extremely proud of these young men because they represent Southern very well. There you have it. Stay with us on the Jaguar Football Show and we'll talk more Jaguar football. Want to get here? It's totally awesome. How about here? Wow! Well, it all starts with the Black and Gold Saints scratch off from the lottery. Win up to $100,000. Enter our second chance drawings and you could win a 2013 Saints game day prize package, autograph Saints merchandise, or the fan experience of a lifetime. It's just unbelievable. I'll never forget it. Show your true colors with the Black and Gold Saints scratch off from the lottery. is football, and you're looking at football's biggest fan. I sit close to the TV just so I can join the huddle. I know 38 mascots on a first-name basis, and I never miss a touchdown. Ready for football? Cox has over 700 pro and college games this season, and more games than ever before online and on your mobile device. Score 50% off NFL Red Zone when you bundle. I refuse to eat turnovers. Cox is football! When you fly with Baton Rouge Metro Airport, you'll see how we've been working hard to make things easier for you, like the closest parking of any airport in its class, faster check-in, friendly, easygoing people to help you on your way, shorter security lines, quality shops and vending, and a team committed to safe and efficient operations so you can get back to what matters most to you. The next time you travel, keep it simple. Baton Rouge Metropolitan Airport. Fly easy. Welcome back to the Jaguar Football Show. Coach, a few more minutes left in the show. Moving kind of quickly here. Open week. Let's talk recruiting. Can you talk to us about some of the kids you're trying to get? Or if you can't, can you talk to us about the positions you're trying to shore up? Well, you know, exactly. we can't mention any names in recruiting, but we definitely have some coaches uh, throughout the Southeast. Um, we got a couple coaches that will be going over to Houston and have some guys out in the local areas of of Louisiana, just trying to solidify certain positions, uh, looking for some uh, tight ends and, and some offensive linemen, of course, and defensive linemen, which we're always looking for for those individuals. But our recruiting board is wide open right now. We're excited about the individuals that we have on it, and we look forward to signing day. Coach, talk around town in regards to the Bayou Classic is iffy. People are talking about skipping the Classic to go to the SWAC championship game. And uh, I want to get Dawson Odom's opinion on what you would tell those people about not skipping the Bayou Classic. Well, the Bayou Classic is uh, more important, especially to our university, because those proceeds come back to our university. And we'd like for you to come out and support. It's been a, it's been a yearly event in the Southern community now for 40 years. So it ought to be exciting to have all our fans in the stands. The Bayou Classic needs Southern fans. The Bayou Classic needs Grambling fans. And we want to continue to make this a classic. The only way we're going to be able to do that if fans come out and support it. There you have it from Coach Dawson Odoms. We need you in the Superdome for the Bayou Classic, the 40th annual Bayou Classic. Coach Odoms, you were given a SWAC Western Division trophy on last Saturday night. Congratulations on that Western Division championship. Talk about playing Jackson State a second time and talk about the fact that you got a chance to win some rings. Well, it'd be an exciting atmosphere. It'd be an electrifying event for our players to take part in. You know, we take our hat off to them because they've done a tremendous job. You know, we thank our administration, our institution for putting this, allowing me a chance to put this staff together. And we're grateful for the opportunity to represent Southern University in 2013 SWAC Championship. There you have it. When we come back, we'll wrap up this week's edition, the week 13 edition 
of the Jaguar football show with coach Dawson Odoms. Stay with us. Did you know smoking and tobacco use damages nearly every organ in your body? Don't you think you deserve more than heart disease, lung disease, cancer? Stay away from the toxic chemicals of tobacco and smoking. Tobacco smoke hurts anyone who breathes it, including family and friends. Communities of Color Network supports a tobacco-free Louisiana. To gain financial success, the first step is getting in the game with planning your retirement. With so much uncertainty in the financial world, it's crucial to have someone on your team that understands your financial goals and can navigate you to obtaining your dream to financial freedom. McLean Financial Group advises in many areas. We pride ourselves on strategic financial planning and serving our clients, a great combination to obtain financial freedom. Get in the game and let McLean Financial Group design your customized financial playbook and quarterback you to financial independence. When you shop for health insurance, you'll find Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Louisiana everywhere. No matter where you are, you're covered through and through. We got a blue for Louisiana, we got you covered. Lake Charles, North Brown, Chandelier. From Venice to Vidalia, by Oak too. No matter where you are, you're covered through and through. Every parish, every zip code. We got a blue. They rolled the red carpet out for me. It's always been Jerry. You know what? It's tradition. It's family. And that's what keeps us coming back to Jerry Lane. We're a Jerry Lane family. Coach Odom's Bayou Classic, we'll talk a lot about next week. What do you see for Grambling as they prepare for this game? Well, you know, I think they're going to come in with a lot of excitement and enthusiasm, you know, throw the records out the window. It's all been an exciting football game for fans to come out and watch. Do the, are they on the right track, Coach? I think they're on the right track, and we're excited to be playing them in the Bayou Classic. Well, we sure do wish Grambling the best. And as we always do when we end the show, Coach, Go, go Jags! Jags.